What's up YouTube, Dirt Hunter here with this week's garage sale and estate sale finds. Uh, most of my finds come from estate sales this week. Uh, didn't get too lucky at garage sales, but we got a couple things from estate sales that I think I should do well on. Um, this is not one of the good things. This is just a little um, bronze food dog, um, like paperweight, uh, with antique finish put on it. I don't think this is an actual uh, antique piece. You can just tell by the quality of the casting. Um, but for nine bucks, I thought it was cool. I, th I just wanted to pick it up. So there's that. And next up, I've got this bottle opener here. And it's a big, uh, heavy bottle opener. And you know bottle openers can be collectible depending on what they are. Uh, this one is marked underneath right here and it says Christoffel France and it's got some other markings uh, for silver plate um, it's a very good maker of silver plate products Christoffel they make a lot of high-end stuff and this one happens to be the Saudi Arabian coat of arms right here and then a mosque on this side um, I saw only two of these on eBay one was 200 or best offer sold for whatever the best offer was and then another one $135 or best offer so um, most of the other ones were only bringing $25, $30 maybe and uh, this one might bring more I don't know I'll probably just do what they did and put a high price on it and hope for the best um, this was $6 and everything else I got was jewelry for the most part I'll show you this little piece. It's just um, leather and silver and some little copper coins and it's a little um, perfume bottle necklace. Uh, I just picked this up because it was different. Um, stuff like this is pretty easy to sell just because it's uh, fairly unique so that was cool. Um, a little Coro brooch. Older one. Uh, not worth a lot of money but I picked that up. Um, let's see, I got these two uh, silver and uh, milk glass coasters. Um, they were both three, or I paid three dollars for both because uh, it was half off at the estate sale. Um, they are marked for sterling just on the on the edge right here on the bottom. A uh, good place to look for silver markings on these is right around this bottom edge. Um, these are pretty popular, like if you have the whole set, uh, for two of them, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks or something would be a, a good price for these. A couple of little silver spoons. This one is enamel of Niagara Falls. If it didn't have that little uh, damage to the enamel, probably get a little bit of money for this because of the enamel, um, but damage like this it's pretty much not worth that much and this another silver spoon it's got some fairly old silver markings on the back that was pretty cool those were a buck a piece and let's see I got this piece here it's uh, Tiffany & Co obviously um, marked on the back Tiffany & Co kinda hard to see there you go. It's a nice link necklace. I paid uh, 45 for that. It's fairly short, the chain, uh, but the pendant's really big. Um, I should be able to get 100. I don't see no reason why I couldn't get 100 for this. Same estate sale. This giant silver and crystal bracelet you always want to look for these safety latches that's usually a good sign that uh, it's gonna be silver or gold and it, this one's missing one of the latches not really a big deal um, but this should be a sleeper kind of it might bring a pretty good amount of money because it's just super chunky I mean it's like it weighs let's see I forget 61.4 grams uh, so it's it's pretty heavy and 
once I get it cleaned up and sparkling really nice and put a nice pictures up on uh, eBay, this might be $75 or something or maybe 100 if I want to just get crazy and put a really high price on it. Um, so pretty cool, that was $6 in the state sale. Uh, also got this silver basket weave bracelet. This was uh, twelve dollars, and it and it doesn't look mar doesn't look marked anywhere. You're like, well, where's the marking? How do you know it's silver? I didn't see the markings uh, when I bought it. I just bought it because it looked like silver. Um, usually, what I do is I try and bend it, and if it bends just super easily, I mean, like just really, really lightly, um, that's usually a good sign. Plus the the way that the weave is like really really intricate. Um, if it was silver plate, these uh, the weaving would be a lot wider. Like it would just be a lot thicker uh, weaving and less detail. So I just took a chance on it. Twelve bucks, sure. Um, and it is marked right there. You can kind of see the impression. Um, it says SS, and then it's got some maker's marks on it. Just very very small. Um, didn't see those at first, but uh, glad I bought it. Glad I picked it up. This also has a nice amount of weight to it, uh, about 40 grams. And the last thing here is this uh, this bracelet right here. It is a Los Castillos bracelet, um, Taxco, and in style number 189. I guess that's upside down. So really nice silver, um, brass, and copper all done up. And it's got an old price in it of $70. So someone paid at least $70 for this. And it weighs about 73.4 grams. So a really heavy piece, obviously not solid silver, um, but a lot of it's silver. I saw the same exact bracelet on eBay sold for $92 and this was 6 bucks at the estate sale so uh, pretty good score for this week um, not a whole lot of uh, awesome stuff but I was just buying jewelry because that's just what I was finding um, thanks for watching if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up